Hey guys, and welcome back to Super Hostile Online. As the sun rises above the air dock here, we are heading for Lushwood. The new area of SHO that was added in the most recent update, which is the area that houses the, um, the uh, pink and lime wool areas. So, we're gonna go and jump off here because I'm a smart person and hopefully hit the slime blocks. I did not, but I am wearing safety boots, so... Fax himself is actually on right now, so that's, um, I believe they're testing, um, the new, uh, the new, uh, Ascended classes, I believe they're called. They're basically, like, strong, better versions of existing classes, like an ultimate form of sorts. Which, ever since the last update, um, two new classes have actually been added. We now have, uh, Cleric and Knight as new classes, which, Cleric is one of my personal favorites, but, uh, yeah, they're doing their thing. Uh, meanwhile, I'm just going to be talking about this area right here. Lushwood is really nice looking. I think it's a big mountainous forest. Um, it's easy to get lost in, as you can see. I tend to get lost in it a lot. We're actually heading for a, um, a new outpost. Uh, because Vex actually added a, uh, a new outpost so you can trade in trade packs. As you can see, I have a, uh, an armor trade pack on me right now. And we're going to be seeing if I can find it. Uh, I might already be lost. I hope I'm not, but I could be, which would really, really suck. During the daytime, this place isn't too dangerous, but at night, some really strong stuff spawns here. Oh, I'm getting rubber banded. Yeah, I think Fax is, uh, Fax is testing out some stuff, and the tick rate is kind of low right now. Supposedly, the ultimate classes are are getting some kind of aura that uh, buffs everyone around people with like a passive effect, which is really neat. And we found the outpost, and we also found a spider, apparently. Yeah, I opted to go with, um, I actually have this speed potion on me because I thought I was going to need it. Because some of the monsters in here are really fast, and especially if you have a trade pack. Uh, it's kind of nasty. So, let's deliver the trade pack here. Um, the buffs you, would you be quiet? I'm trying to explain something. The buffs you get out of this is, uh, they're the pr pretty much the same as you would get when you go to, um, when you go to Red Sands, uh, but, hi, you are a regular Raring 2 spider, I can take you. Although I should probably get out of here and not linger around here for too long. Jeez, you're, have a lot, you have a lot, of, a lot of health. There we go. So let's actually go back now and try to find the dungeon, that's a creeper. You're just a basic creeper, I think. There's a new creeper called the Armageddon Creeper, which... <laughs> yeah, that's fun. By the time you see that thing, you're pretty much dead already, so... Or, unless you have time to raise your shield, but then when you do, and they actually have like a, an, uh, a lingering effect like the Crystal Creepers in the Light Blue du uh, Dungeon did. did. So, even if you do manage to block the explosion, um, you get to deal with, I believe, a minute and a half of poison and slowness. So, they're really nasty. <laughs> they're not as bad as the infernal monsters, which are really insane. They just set you on fire, they do all kinds of nasty stuff to you. Now, I am actually using some new gear. Uh, the safety boots are definitely new. They're actually diamond boots, which I believe is our it's our first pair of diamond boots in here, so I have no idea where I'm going right now. <laughs> I'm going to the edge of the continent apparently. That's not where we need to be. We need to actually head back to the uh the air dock and from there we need to head to the dungeon. 
I still get a little bit turned around in this area. I don't know it that well yet. Uh, not as well as I know the other areas at least. We crossed the mountain to get here. We should probably cross it again to get back. Because I don't believe going to the dungeon involves crossing mountains. It's always... Oh god. There's a cave spider over there. Although he appears to be... Ah, uh, it's a regular spider. They appear to be normal. They're probably just buffed and they don't and they're not like the special fast variant, which I <laughs> like so many stuff so many things can just surprise you right now. Uh can I make this? I can. See where this takes us. We are on the edge of the continent again, but at least we found the air dock again, so. I think I sort of know where to go from the air dock. Let's actually head back over to... So the air dock, I didn't actually explain this, but the air dock is on a big mountain and there's actually a path that um, winds around down. I kind of skipped the path because I went, uh, I took the slime blocks, but the path starts over here and you just go up inside and around. But this way actually leads to the dungeon, is something that I happen to know. Yeah, FX is trying to figure out how the how to make the uh, the auras not lag the server to hell, because that's what's kind of happening right now. Which I hope I hope won't affect us in the in the dungeon runs. Uh, I could have done the dungeon run at a different time probably, but. I kind of wanted to do it now because now I have the time and I might not have time to record later this week. And I wanted to record as soon as possible because apparently the Lime Wool Dungeon is getting completely redesigned. I see you over there and I don't like it. You can stay the hell over there. You're a fast Wither Skeleton. I think you're actually a Raging. You look like a Raging Wither. I don't know if you are, but... <laughs> So this giant, impressive looking tree is, oh god. Are you just a fast wither or are you, what kind of wither are you? Oh, you're just a fast one, okay. That's not too bad. I thought you were a raging one. The fast ones are okay, cause they, they don't actually, they don't have too much health. I believe they actually have like half of the health that normal monsters would. But as I was saying before I got brutally interrupted by that Wither Skeleton, this place is... This big giant tree is the entrance to Luminous Leaves, the Pink Wool Dungeon. And oh god, I am actually going to equip my shield instead of my speed charm because... I think I'll need it. Let's eat. As you can see I'm a rank 8 defender, which would really suck if I died because I reset all my walls again, so... I wouldn't be able to hit rank 8 again unless I did all the other stuff, so... Uh, I got some merchant pants. Got some uh, spare merchant pants. I won't look at the at the um, the safety boots yet because those are kind of a spoiler for uh, an area we're going to shortly. Probably not today, but we'll go there eventually. Okay, so we're fully healed up. Let's go check out Luminous Leaves. This area, I think I'm just going to start off with uh, the dojo. So, uh, we're actually doing things a little bit out of order because in order to in to enter the dojo, you need an item that's dropped from the enemies uh, in there. Uh, it is actually this thing right here, the Noble Scepter. It's dropped from a really strong enemy inside. Uh, we'll be seeing that enemy in a little bit, but for now we're just going to go grab the dojo. Um, which the dojo itself is a little bit dangerous, but it's not nearly as bad as the area inside. I believe this is the first dungeon to actually be split in two. Uh, oh god. Why are there so many of you here already? I don't like that. Let's just act activate the re- oh god! What even is going on here? I think some people must have been here before me because...
Uh huh. This always terrifies me, and the tick rate is still really low. Okay, we made it. That is terrifying. You guys can stay down there. I'm kind of afraid to know what the dungeon is going to be like if the dojo is already this crowded. I'm going to guess the dungeon is going to be... Fun. <laughs> oh, I am worried. I am so worried right now. I guess people were here recently because otherwise there wouldn't be this many spiders here. I'm actually going to equip these new <laughs> merchant's pants just in case my armor breaks while I'm out doing stuff. But yeah, this is the abandoned quartz quarry dojo and if my levitation would wear off I could actually go grab the stuff here. The fine sakura kimono. Uh, the fine sakura kimono is a, a really good piece of armor. I think I'm actually just going to equip it because well I kind of don't feel like dying uh, and it seems we're, we're di we will die a lot if the dungeon is, is this crowded. I can't even talk I'm so I'm a, I was a little bit surprised by that usually there's not that many spiders in here but yeah the sakura kimono is one of the best pieces of armor right now uh, this is actually the new dojo chest plate since the merchant's tunic uh, is no more uh, I would like to get out of here without fighting these spiders again, if I can help it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're fine. We can actually go uh, get out of here and screw all these spiders. I don't have to deal with them anymore. So, I think we are now ready to tackle the main part of the dungeon. Which, <laughs> as you can tell, I'm a little bit worried. I don't know if I should be doing this right now with the tick rate so low. Um, I'm actually gonna equip this. Uh, the other, I didn't even mention the other thing we got. Holy crap. The Hone Katana, which is really strong. And just look at this, look at this swing speed. It's insane. Like, I'm... Normally, you would only get this speed with a scout. But you can almost just spam click this thing. It's ridiculous. I think it's currently the best sword in the game, or at least I consider it to be the best sword in the game right now. There is stuff here. Something has died here. <laughs> so, oh god. We are bouncing back. There are people here, apparently. Hi. So, let us actually head in now. Uh, if I can remember where in actually is. There is an underground path that we're looking for. Oh, come on. I got distracted and now I can't find my way around. Oh, it's right. Is it over here? Yeah, it's right over here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why did I choose to do this today? I don't know. This is dangerous. Oh, our equipment is good. Ooh, that was an explosion. I think we've got a fast zombie after us. I'm just gonna ignore him for right now. I'm just gonna ignore everything for right now and just make a beeline for the uh, for the actual dungeon. That's a tanky zombie. Don't want to be fighting. I suddenly got night vision. How did that happen? Am I near someone's aura or something? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> I did not do that. Oh god. That is one of the signature enemies of this dungeon. The uh, cursed samurai. They actually dropped the, uh, the weapon I was using before. The worn katanas. Which are pretty much equivalent to... Um, to uncommon iron swords. I think he's coming down the stairs. Let's see if we can take him out. Yeah, as you can see, it's just really, really strong. So, into the dungeon itself. I'm just gonna run through here really quickly. Uh, let's actually drop some stuff here. Oh wait, he dropped some good. He dropped some goodies. What did you drop? I want whatever bow you dropped. Ah, it's just a common bow. Dang it. I was hoping for something special. I never get special bows. 
Let us just drop all the stuff we don't need. I'll take the health charm. I don't need all of this stuff. We've got a lot of gold on us. And a lot of steak. Alright, let's go. So, first off, let us... I think I'm just going to run for the wall and run back out. Because <laughs> staying here is can be deadly. This floor is not too bad. It's just a samurai. Now this floor is where the fun stuff happens. Ow. Oh, I hear them already. But I don't see them. Uh, wrong way. It's fairly quiet. There they are! So these are the cursed nobles. Uh, just take the wall and run. Oh god. So the cursed nobles are evokers, as you can see. And they are the ones that drop the, uh, as you can see, they're holding the scepter. So I've been actually grinding here with, with a few of the other people on the server here, because this is place is really dangerous to do by yourself, and especially when the tick rate is as low as it is right now. Oh, I, he actually dropped a, uh... He dropped the thing I want. He dropped a regular Sakura kimono. I think that's just a regular stick. It is. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna stay here. Screw this. This is too dangerous. <laughs> Glad us actually run out. Let's find a way out and not get shot by skeletons or screwed over by samurai. Just look at how look at how how damaged our armor got. Like this place is just really really dangerous. So let's just run out while we can. I don't think we got anything out of that. Oh god, where did where did you come from? You followed me all the way over here. You are insane. Get over here. All right. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like we got anything good out of that, but like I said, they can actually drop the uh, scepter that you need to enter the uh, the dojo area outside. So we're just gonna leave. Oh no! Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Yeah, the cursed samurai are nasty. The um the cursed nobles by themselves aren't even that aren't that bad. It's the cursed samurai and the vexes around them that makes it that makes it really annoying to fight them. Excuse me. So um now the way back is actually kind of interesting because we have to go through the lime wall dojo or dungeon. Here I go again, mixing up dungeons and dojos. Hi. I am on this wall, so you can't actually hit me. I've been wondering if they can actually drop that uh, that banner that they're wearing. I don't think they can, because I've never actually seen one drop. Be cool if you if they did, because that would be a nice item to collect. I like collecting unique items. Um. So yeah, um, I am actually gonna go uh, head out of this place and we'll see you in the next episode when we actually tackle Lime. Because I'm gonna have to go through Lime to get out of here and I don't want to do the entirety of Lime with all the good stuff I'm carrying on me. So yeah, um, oh god there's a lot of you here. 
So yeah, until next time, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.